Welcome back to Rad BMX Builds, and I think it's time we give you an update, a tour, if you will, of the entire shop because it's pretty stacked right now. And I want to give you some behind the scenes footage, do something a little bit different, show you all the bikes we have on hand, tell you what's available to purchase and how you do that, where you go to get merch, so on and so forth. I'm going to show you what I have hidden in the corners, hidden in the boxes, parts and pieces, full complete bikes future builds, where some bikes are right now that aren't here, when they're coming back, and what's going out. So that's a lot to do, let's get going. Okay, I think we'll just start off with a little bit of a panoramic of what we're doing here in the shop and how we kind of have it laid out and organized. And basically it's crowded, right? It's completely full. Here's the Radical Rick display that has a lot more coming and this is just temporary what it's kind of looking like right now. This is the Radical Rick 24 inch Haro bike that I did for the BMX Hall of Fame. Here's Radical Rick, he's gonna be getting a little bit of a makeover here in a little while. Some of my Radical Rick collection, a lot of it's signed. So Damien has signed that one, Damien and Eddie Fiola signed that one. Damien signed the box down there, the certificate of authenticity, all three of these number plates are signed by him. Damien's the raddest dude. If you ever get a chance to meet him, please do. Please tell him Rad BMX Build says hello. And then as we move across, we have the big swatch watch on the wall. Some actual swatch watches there. These pads that you can get right now and the link below are made by flight. You can get them in white or black, Rad BMX builds pads. Some of my Oakleys, some of the cameras we use, and then the display case, which is ever changing because I use a lot of these parts. I get more parts in and add to it. So it is an ever changing display of BMX parts and pieces. The things I think should go in here Everything else goes in boxes in the back, back on the wall back here. So we'll get into that in a moment. And we're gonna hold off on showing you all the bikes for just a minute, and you're gonna get a sneak peek. This is a future project laid out here on the table, and I do this so I can see what I still need to buy, what I currently have, if I like the direction it's going before I put the whole bike together. Where's the bike? Well, it's off at Ernie's 80s Bike Shop getting powder coated. And we'll reveal that when it comes back. But it's not here right now. It's coming soon. He's working on it. It's going to take a little bit of restoration, which Ernie is famous for, and his amazing powder coat. Okay, what's new? How about this 87 GT Pro Series with the Pro Bars, the GT chain ring? Like, this bike is absolutely my personal favorite Grail race bike. And we're gonna do something real special with this also. This entire package, frame, forks, bars, seat post, chain ring, it's all going off to Ernie's and it's going to get powder coated. That's right, we're not gonna keep it chrome. The chrome's not in the greatest shape. So we're gonna do some restoration work by we, I mean him, and we're gonna put a color to this, which will be absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go behind the counter and show you what's going on back here. I usually don't talk a lot about this stuff, so this is a little bit of an exclusive. Here's the Monza 27.5 inch bike that I just did a video on. And remember, if you want one of these, you can use the discount code RADFRIENDS and save some money at Monza BMX. Then I have a 1980 Cook Brothers sitting right here. Talk about a grail bike. These are extremely hard to come by and it took me years to find one in good condition. The chrome on this is fantastic and I don't know that I'll ever sell this. If I do, it's not going to be cheap. So I kind of hold off on things of value like that because they're just not going to come around very often. Got a whole bunch of number plates lined up across the top. Speaking of merch, here's the hat line if you want a Rad BMX builds hat again you can go to radbmxbuilds.com get yourself a hat shirt hoodie sticker whatever you want it's all there this is a custom 24 inch dyno pro comp team model 
This was also powder coated by Ernie's 80s Bike Shop in neon yellow with hand laid black splatter. We just added the gyro to this. And this bike is absolutely rad. Totally love this bike. Fluted seat post, dyno seat, dyno brake guard, GT cranks, Skyway wheels. It's sick. It's such a cool bike. A bunch of Amy grips. Thank you, Amy, one of our sponsors. They're absolutely rad. Got some 24 inch GT wheels up there. Got some collector helmets up here. I don't know why I started collecting helmets, but I did. And then you quickly run out of space when you do that. So I'm not collecting helmets anymore. A bunch of chain rings I have just stacked up extras. Some skateboards down there you might recognize. The one on the right is a Back to the Future board. Some good reading, Bill Batchelor's Concrete and Smog, Eddie Fiola's When I Was King. And an Eddie Fiola signed backpack, which is pretty cool. I got that last year at the Hall of Fame. E.T. rocking a rad BMX hoodie. Collection of Eddie Fiola hats and GT 50 year anniversary hat. More number plates. The signed framed picture of Tommy Brackens to go with the bike that I have. I haven't shown you yet. And then my 24 inch Hutch Pro Racer. Did a video on this bike not too long ago. Hutch brake guard, flight tech seat, SR components. Love this bike, such a great bike. I don't know that I can get rid of this either. This is just such a good rider, racer, whatever you wanna do with it. They're pretty rare and it looks so good in white. <clears throat> also, Flight wanted me to give a shout out here to these bags. Uh, they did not give me this, I bought this. But these are great bags to have when you're riding. You can put tools, cameras, wallet, phone, whatever you want in that bag, and it's fantastic. My bike stand, which doesn't get a whole lot of use because I use the tables. My When I Was King signed poster by Eddie Fiola. My neon signs, which are Lumen.neon. Uh, they're, they're fantastic, and you can use Rad BMX Builds as a discount to get a neon sign if you want. All of the tools that I use to build the bikes, cleaning materials, so on and so forth. Now, behind the banners, if I peel this back, these are all parts. So they're all organized into boxes like stems, brakes, seat posts, stickers. Everything's pretty organized down there and I just keep it behind the banner because I think it looks a little cleaner. So that's the parts that I would use pretty much routinely, but over here, this is stuff like the skateboard decks, jerseys, and then more down here is some odds and end parts at the other end of this, and more skateboards. I'm probably sitting on about, I don't know, 30 skateboard decks at this point. And then we have a box of pads and handlebars and miscellaneous, basically. Tons and tons of pad sets that I've used and aren't currently using are down there. So anyway, that's what's behind the banners. So a lot of tools and parts, and that's what's going on behind the bench. Okay, let's work our way around the shop. We'll start with the right-hand side. This is where I do all my editing for YouTube. So I sit here at the desk, cell phone, big monitor, laptop. I print my labels when I ship bikes here. Um, Damien sent me this, which I thought was really rad. Found this at a yard sale, then wrote all the BMX nonsense on it. I got it pretty cheap, just thought it was pretty cool. Refrigerator, stock, rocking a bunch of BMX stickers. And as we work our way down, this is my 1945 Harley Davidson knucklehead. I don't know if I have any motorcycle riders that follow this channel or not, but this is pretty much an all original first year after they started producing motorcycles for civilians again after World War II. So that is a 1945 Harley Davidson knucklehead, extremely rare. And it's been in my family for a while and now it's mine. All right, let's talk about BMX bikes. We have a 1987 GT Mach 1. We have a 1989 Chrome GT Mach 1 a 1989 Chrome GT Pro Series. So these are both 89s, both Chrome. This is 87 in white. Remember I showed you that 87 earlier on the table Pro Series. 
give you a hint. It's gonna look real close to that one. We're gonna have matching. Then we have a Chrome 1991 GT Mach 1 currently for sale on the website at radbmxbuilds.com. Then a 1991 GT Mach 1 in neon yellow. And I just got the pads for this. I haven't even shown anybody the pads yet. But I used to have this bike back in the 90s, then found one again, and this bike is all original. It's really cool. And then, of course, the Tommy Bracken's replica bike by GT Nation. And I collaborated with GT to do this build. And they even stamped the serial number down here. It's hard to see, but it's right here. It says Rad BMX GT Baloney Cut Frame. Signed. Absolutely killer build. Real happy with that. So that's one side of the garage. Pretty much my GT row that's ever building right now. We'll come around. We have the Swift electric BMX bike that I did a video on. And you can get those in the link down below. And then right here is an all original with Diamondback three-piece cranks 1983 Diamondback 2 Silver Streak loaded with absolute rad parts array of wheels sr hubs the sagino stem sr seat clamp the aero diamond back seat which is really rad just a super cool bike even has the diamond back bars and then i just finished building this redline mx2 that is a 1979 and then for sale on the website is this 1978 MCS Spider, and you can buy that right now at radbmxbuilds.com. And then a future build, this Redline RL 340 Comp. Um, I'm on the fence. Am I going to redo it in black or do it in blue? I have the same decals to re-decal it when I'm done. But I want to re-powder re coat this bike because the paint does have a lot of chips in it, but the bike is pretty much all original, every part and component. I just need to make it look better, so we'll fix that up. The 1979 Torker. This is an Eddie King 20-inch Torker, uh, three-piece Sugino cranks, Skyway wheels, Cashamax seat, six-bolt stem. Absolute beautiful bike. One of my favorites, my 83 PK Ripper in baby blue and gold with a signed Mike Buff number plate. I love this bike. It's one of my favorites. Everyone always asks me how much. There's not a price on it because it's not for sale. And then hiding back here is my CW Phase 1 Lightning Bolt bike. A lot of people like that bike. This is the second one of these I've had. I sold the other one and kind of regretted it. So when I was able to find a new one, I grabbed it and I built it and I'm absolutely in love with it. So probably hanging on to this one for a while, folks. And then my 1983 Greg Hill. You can see this bike on the Instagram. All these bikes are on my Instagram at rad underscore BMX underscore builds. Single pinch, red line, cranks, pro neck parts, power disc, seat, clamp, and stem. So that's that side right there. Quite the lineup going on in here. I need to start putting some bikes on the website. I just don't like to load up the website full of bikes because if six of them sell, it's just me packing and shipping all those bikes and it's a lot of work. So you can tell we've been busy here at Rad BMX Builds, making videos, making content. Builds are constantly going on, overlapping, and we're just always at work every single day, seven days a week out here in the shop, making content for you. So if you like that and you can appreciate the hustle, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us out a lot. If you like a content creator, the best thing you can do is subscribe, follow, whatever. That helps their channel grow, helps them continue to do this as a business. And I am a business, so if it doesn't make any money, the business closes, you don't get to see any of this content anymore. And that's kind of a lose-lose for everybody because I really enjoy the BMX scene. I really enjoy bringing these bikes back from the dead, essentially, and eventually selling them to share them with you. So make sure you support Rad BMX Builds and any other content creator that you like because we have a passion for this and we love it. 
We really appreciate you guys that follow and subscribe. Even if you're not and you're watching the video, thank you. Just please give it a consideration. Oh, man, that's a lot. And I'm really excited the way this is turning out. But we have other projects going on in the shop. We're going to install a whole bunch of lighting, uh, the hexagon lighting. We're going to get the floors all done in like a... Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like a poly floor, but it looks like marble and it looks really cool. So we're going to be doing that soon, which means all of this stuff is going to have to be pulled out of here. They can do the floor. Hopefully it's a one day thing. Maybe it's a two day thing and then put it all back in. Maybe when I do that, we change up how we do it in here, but the space works pretty well. It's pretty crowded, but I have a lot of stuff. So maybe a few shelves or something like that would help out. So what do you think? Comment down below. What do you think I should do? Put it back to the way it is? It displays well, it films well. I have a lot of windows in here for light. You probably saw that earlier in the video, which is great when it's cool outside, just open them up and you get a pretty rad breeze. But okay, that's it. I'm not gonna bore you with a really long video. I just wanted to share this with you. A lot more bikes coming, a couple more coming up on the website for sale, merch available on the website for sale. Links down below to all the other things like Monza, Swift electric bikes, neon signs, Amy grips, flight pads, whatever you want. Check it out, and as always, stay rad.